you are one of so many people, how can you be significant? You know. So basically, you need to do something significant, maybe in somebody else's life. You know. So which means you need to have a profession where you can actually be committed to the welfare of others. And here, the welfare has to do with them learning a challenging subject uh, effectively. Uh, my name is uh, Rajendran and I actually joined the department in 1979. I've been teaching uh, in the Department of Anatomy all along. Anatomy is actually the most intense of the, among the preclinical subjects for a medical student. You know? So they're always faced with uh, extreme uh, amount of details. And it's a huge challenge understanding uh, the structure in three-dimensional uh, detail. And that's the challenge they face when they read the books. They just can't visualize it. So um, again, my challenge was how to bring this visual understanding in the most efficient way to all the students. So I thought, uh, why don't I create my own uh, images? And the best images, of course, would be in three dimension. And the material that uh, allowed me to do this was plasticine. Uh, as a student of anatomy, together with my classmates, we enjoyed his classes uh, whereby he used uh, uh, plastinated models to illustrate the, the, the growth and development of the human fetus. Uh, at that time, uh, he used a double projection uh, system and that really uh, brought to life many of the facts and information that was uh, in the textbook um, but making it come alive. So what I did was, I start with the beginning, so you make a model like this and you start adding the things that you need to do step by step, you know, in plasticine. At every step, you need to take a picture and it's taken on this uh, film, right, 35mm film, okay, which is then mounted onto slides, yeah. What happens when you switch from one projector to the other? Actually, you're showing a picture from one slide and then moving on to a picture from the other projector. So you're alternating between projectors. So for a lecturer to come up with a method to illustrate this in a three-dimensional manner, coming alive with motion uh, and to top it off with his uh, passion in delivering these classes was really something for us. Uh, even now today, when I work alongside Prof Rajendran uh, in, uh, to take care of the medical students, uh, Prof Raj sits on the uh, Student Affairs uh, Advisory uh, uh, group of teachers and uh, they constantly look out for students in need. He makes sure that everyone has a sense of belonging in medicine. And just to make sure that everybody feels bonded, he'll make sure that he'll ask about those people who don't feel as bonded and make sure that we reach out to them. My main teaching motto is uh, don't leave any student behind to make sure that every keen student is able to reach a certain level of understanding of the subject uh, comfortably and also feel independent enough to pursue their, their interest in the subject. These are students who have actually kept me uh, developing myself as a teacher. Uh, I have sufficient number of students with whom I closely interact and they give me excellent feedback which allows me to review myself and improve myself and be able to cope with the the changing attitudes among the students. So it's all about being able to engage the current batch of students, which you can do, and, uh, and then getting them to benefit the maximum from your teaching. I see it as a challenge, you know, and I find teaching and getting things across to students and enlightening them uh, always an uh, exciting challenge. And also I'm learning new things all the time because uh, science is changing, there are new dis discoveries and uh, I'm enjoying myself. I can't really put to words like what he embodies but it's, it's something that I really respect about him because um, he's, he strikes me as someone who just takes time to enjoy life and like just really live life like meaningfully. I'm an early bird so I wake, wake up very early. Uh, well before 5 o'clock. I come to work uh, normally by 6 o'clock, I'm in the office. 
So the, the first option for me is to, to head to the canteen, which fortunately is open at that time, you know. And you can literally uh, watch the sunrise and the birds sing while you are reading the newspaper and actually uh, reflect, doing your reflection, you know. So and somewhere along the way, a friend or two will join you and then you have a nice discussion, uh, academic or otherwise, uh, before you sort of feel ready to get back to the office. Dear Prof Raj, thank you for being such an inspiring teacher to us all. Um, thank you for drawing those hand-drawn notes that you draw for us for lectures and uh, those amazing embryology lessons and those plasticine models on flash files. They are really amazing. Um, also, thank you for taking the time to check out on us and just ensure that our, we are doing well in med school and we are coping well and we are having a good time. Um, we love you, Prof Raj. Thank you, Prof Raj, for inspiring us to become better doctors. I remember during our first encounter, you told us about how it takes duty and respect to be good doctors. And I think that's something that I will always carry with me you know, throughout my many years of service as a doctor. Thank you. Prof Raj, thank you for all the time and effort you've put into your students. And thank you for caring for us enough to force us to come for class. Please continue to entertain me when I disturb you during your coffee breaks. And um, just want to let you know that you are what I think a teacher should truly be like. Thank you, Prof Raj. You have been a great inspiration to all medical students. You have opened my eyes to the wonders of the human body and you have uh, inspired me to be a competent doctor. Thank you, Prof Raj. Prof Raj, thank you so much for teaching me and my classmates and the generations of medical students and doctors. You have really made a lot of difference in our lives. We wish you all the very best, good health and hope that you will continue teaching for many years more.